So, um, I'm just sitting here having my coffee and I want to make a video and talk about these awful attacks that happened in Israel. Like I, I'm still processing this. Like it almost didn't seem real whenever I saw the news on like, uh, it was Sunday. I believe it was Sunday when I saw it and you know, and I've been wanting to consume more news lately, right? Uh, because of that. And I have to be very careful. I mean, if you're like me and you've cut back on, um, you know, news media and all of that in recent years for yourself or your psyche, um, you know, it could be easy to fall back into that because, you know, what's the reason, right? What's the reason I want to consume all this news, right? It's like, for me, I think... Obviously, there's a dopamine hit that happens, right? Whenever there's information going on, there's this, you know, whoa, you know, because it's like, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this news story. And the way that news media sensationalizes it too, right? It only adds to that, you know, with their dramatics and their presentation. Um, but also too, you know, the other aspect is I want to truly understand. I want to... It's like, and I think you all might agree, we want to understand why people would be so brutal, why they would do these things. What has led them to this point in their life? What happened to them that they, let, that they wanted to, to attack innocent people and justify it in the name of God? And the truth of the matter is, is I'll never understand because I did not walk in their shoes. And I just, I want to understand so bad, right? And I just don't think that there's any way to explain it. I don't think there's any understanding it, right? It is, you know, and, and I know this is used a lot, uh, you know, it's a generational trauma thing. It seems like it's been passed down from generation to generation, this hate, this, this conflict and, um, you know, over land and, and whatnot. And I, look, I don't know that whole area. Like it is, <laughs> um, it's an area that I, I can't speak on because I, I don't know enough about it. But what I can speak on is that no matter what has happened, no matter what has done, no matter who did who to what, how long ago, right? Or whose God is better than whose God, <laughs> right? Um, like, I don't think any God can justify the brutal slaying of innocent women, children, and even men. This is no God that I'm aware of. And that's really all that, that I need to really, that's all that really like resonates with me, right? Regardless of what has happened and who did what. This is not what any spiritual leader talks about or any God or any, um, religion. This is not love. This is evil. And it's, I'm trying to reach back into my mind here and right, try to understand, try to pull something out. how people can get to this point. You know, and, and just looking at our own country and how divided, you know, the United States is and, and, and has been. Um, like, how did we get to that point? You know? And, I mean, it probably happens over time. And it happens in, in these... Um, uh, echo chambers, right? We are aware of these echo chambers where people are just echoing their own 
you know, um, ideals. And activating each other over and over, right? Um, and it would bruise this hate, you know, and this, this hate, this, this, there's other, when things aren't going right in, in one's life, right? It's real easy to make someone else out to be the enemy and to want to do harm to another. But when you do harm to another, you're actually doing harm to yourself. The things that those people have done, it'll haunt them the rest of their life. Whether they realize it or not in this moment. I believe that eventually it'll catch up to them. And that's a hard thing to face. It's a hard thing to look at. And you've taken an innocent life in the name of land, religion, greed, whatever. This is not the way of the universe. It's not the way of God. It's very simple and clear to me. But what I can do is you know, maybe express myself in these videos. Maybe it helps others try to understand as well, try to settle this, this inside of us, right? That this feeling that like, what, how can this happen? You know, and um, I mean, the only thing that I really think that I can do Just work on myself. Be an example. An example to myself. Love myself. Continue my growth. Continue my healing journey, right? Continue to look at my uh, motives and my, you know, my resentments, you know, and the things that can lead to anger and the dark side, right? And me. And that's really all that I feel like I can do. Because we can get in, we can get on here and give our opinions and this and we should do that and we shouldn't have sent this money and we shouldn't have done that and or they need to do this and it's okay, well, does that make you feel like you're doing something? You feel better? Okay. But ultimately, does that really help? What, what really helps? If we each work on ourselves, because when you heal yourself, you can heal others, others around you heal. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's just the same concept that you've heard. One at one bad apple spoils a whole bunch, right? And that works with healing as well. So if you have one bad apple, one bad person, one toxic person that can just bleed off. That can just, that energy just can get absorbed by others, um, especially if they are not aware of who they are. Um, but the, you know, the good news is the same is true for uh, good apples. You know, they can heal bad apples, right? So when you're healing, those around you will heal. And we can make it about vibrations and frequencies and you know, all of these things and you know, that my brain is, has a hard time understanding, but there's something to it. You know, there's a frequency, there's a vibration of love that's emitted from you and your energy field and that penetrates others just like an, a bad apple gives off a certain um, ion or something it gives off a chemical right uh, I know this is with bananas too right like if you have a if you want to ripen bananas faster take an, uh, take a, a really ripe banana and put it with the um, unripe bananas right so it's the same with us so when we're healing, we're emitting love, forgiveness, we're loving ourselves. 
then that emanates from us. We embody that and we, you know, others receive that and they feel safe in our presence and they feel safe to heal. It's just a natural process. <sighs> yeah. But that's really all you can do, I think, is to look within your own self. Look in your own darkness. We all have it. I certainly have it. And I accept it. I accept that darkness in me. And it's welcome. But it doesn't run me. It doesn't own me. I can channel it in other ways. I don't have to act out in duality anymore. But yeah, I would love to hear your comments um, on this subject matter. I don't want to get into politics of this. That's not what I'm asking for. Just where you, how you feel about this. Like, is it, does this resonate with you? That's what I want to know. Thank you for watching.